Hi everyone, we made it! Week seven of online learning. Wow, summer is just around the corner. It's June already and the sun is starting to peek out a lot more and warm our Michigan up. Well, the book that I have to read with you today is called The Night Before Summer Vacation. It's kind of a silly book, but it's fun to read on our last week of school. Twas the night before leaving on summer vacation. My family was bursting with anticipation. And that means excitement. Dad made a checklist, which he checked as he went. The bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, and tent. Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for the s'mores. We carried out helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel, and bike, plus Pete's doggy bowls and Jimmy's new trike. Down from the attic, our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if reffing a game. In bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. Now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell like a water balloon. It started to swell. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of packing. Done with our packing, we ate dinner at last. Then we got out the scrapbook, scrapbooks of vacations past. Looking at all the vacation pictures. There were photos of us at the Museum of Toasters. And my father and I riding fast roller coasters. Here's Jimmy on Babe and me with Paul Bunyan. And there's Mommy beside the world's largest onion. Oh. We laughed about trips we'd taken before. Our week at the beach and and our week at the beach did nothing but pour all that rain. It was so cold that we all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with 2,000 pieces. That is a big puzzle. At last, it was time to climb into our beds where visions of marshmallows danced in our heads. In the morning, Dad shouted, get up, rise and shine. It's quarter to four. Let's leave here on time. Look, at it. it's still dark outside and Daddy's waking them up. Then a few moments later, there arose such a clatter. We ran to the window to see what was the matter. When what to our wandering eyes should appear? But Dad, the camper, and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. We all squeezed in, then drove down our street. I suddenly cried out, yikes, we forgot Pete. Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. There's Pete. Now we were ready for the 10 hour ride. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight, mommy, are we there yet? She said, with luck, by tonight. That 
was silly, but there were a lot of good ideas about things that hopefully we all will be able to do this summer once summer vacation begins. I hope you have those ideas in your head and I hope to see lots of pictures of your fun summer adventures. Bye guys.